best thing about the Intense Robotics program is the way that it brings students who may be disengaged from school back into engagement and the whole community around them and their families. So it really engages people who weren't necessarily engaged before um, in a really novel way. Oh look, it's fabulous. It's just been wonderful to see the uh, students all participating and uh, uh, spending time there getting their robots organised for whatever they were participating in, the uh, V-Bots or uh, Edison's and so on. Um, but it's just that connection, I guess, with the community and, uh, and looking at uh, them using the skills that they've been uh, learning uh, as part of our STEM program. Okay. And what can you do better, do you think? Not touch it. Not touch it? Yeah, not grab it. Try it. Not grab it. And work on the team. Work on the team. Work on the team. Work on the team. Try it. Try it. Year, we won't be doing uh, science teachers as a specialist. Science will be put into the classroom. So all classroom teachers will be teaching science next year and we created this STEM lab so that each uh, science class or each classroom can bring their class to the STEM lab. Everything will be here. We've got all the science equipment, um, all the technology ready to go and it's all in one place. The STEM lab's absolutely amazing and, and uh, that's been a work in progress for, uh, since the start of this year. Just in terms of having a space where students can move between the science lab through into the wet area for uh, investigations or experiments and then the, and have the lab available as well. So sort of that um, collaborative type of, of, of atmosphere that provides for um, integration. We programmed it ourselves um, to do this mat. Pretty accurate, but it's just a little bit sometimes messes up. Like we've had heaps of different designs and just lots of stuff. This is how it looks. The one that works. Yeah. 